so we want to do 7.3 number 17, uh, which is w plus 4 times w plus 5 is 12. So please tell me none of you are doing the really dumb thing right now in your head. What's the really dumb thing? <laughs> Don't do the quadratic formula in your head. Because you're bad at arithmetic. Like, everybody is. Don't worry, it's not just you. So did you do it? But what's the really dumb thing? To do the 12 product rule? Yeah, to try to do the 12 product rule, which is not a thing, as opposed to the zero product rule, which is, right? So, since we're not going to do the 12 product rule, what do we have to do? W squared plus 9w plus 20 Okay, so I should both foil the left hand side out and subtract the 12. Move the 12 over. Okay. So let's do that in foil first, then move. So we foil first, we get w squared plus 9w plus 20, 20 is 12. And then I should subtract the 12. Okay, so I got w squared plus 9w plus 8 is 0. So then you could do quadratic for that, right? Yeah. Okay, so I could run the quadratic, I could complete the square, or I could try to factor. So it just depends on what method you're comfortable with. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't, and I wouldn't complete the square. I would, and the thing I always do is not complete the square. Oh, yeah. Although I've gotten a lot better at it this semester. Oh, okay. The first thing I do is spend like 30 seconds trying to factor. Do you see it? You it's always do that first. And one, right? Yeah, so I spend just a second trying to factor, right? Unless the leading coefficient's not one, in which case I usually just cram it in the quadratic formula. I'm not big on doing the AC method for some reason, but it's really just the way I was taught. If you guys are better at doing the AC method than me, you might spend a second thinking about it. For me, I'd look at this and I'd say, okay, they need to what to eight? Multiply to 8 and add to 9. nine. Oh, 8 and 1, that seems obvious. Does it work? Yep. Yes. So I factored into 1 and 1. Y plus W. That's a, that's yeah, a W exactly. to take. <laughs> w plus 1 and W plus 8. Plus eight. And then I apply. Is there a product rule? W Oops. Sorry. ZPR. Okay, so I get W plus 1 is 0 or W plus 8 is 0. And you get W equals negative 1 or W equals negative 1. Okay, if I had done the quadratic formula, what would I get? That. Awesome. <laughs> Assuming I did the quadratic formula right, I would get this. Factor is just a touch faster, and I'm much less likely to make a factoring error than I am to make an arithmetic error in the quadratic formula. The trouble spots in the quadratic formula are that 4ac thing. You guys remember that in the discriminant? There's a minus 4ac. You usually lose a minus sign in there or fail to multiply 4 times a times c properly. That's the big spot for getting errors. But it's, it's multiplying, there's no order. Yeah, it's multiplying, but it's just that people are bad at multiplying three numbers together, especially when one of them's negative. They tend to multiply the two things and then subtract the negative thing. Trust me, crazy happens. So this is a little less error prone. Cool.